Hi there, this is Popo, I hope you'll find. Welcome back to the Matches Miniature Series, where we cover some games of matches that happen on real life, on real board, against real people, actually the friends of a chess club. So, uh, we'll follow the uh, discover of the factions. I have to say that at this point, uh, I don't remember how, when uh, the factions were rediscovered. So, uh, I'm going just to remind myself some games I just notated, but I can't tell a chronology from this time because there are 17 factions and even uh, I was really remembering the first time like they have been playing a lot of games of matches uh, even uh, if I wasn't here so I can't really tell uh, when that happened. The only thing is that I know that this game is going to show you is the first game that uh, ever has been played with the tickets. And uh, here uh, when I just showed the tickets I have to say that all my friends went ah okay interesting and not so much. Like, they weren't hyped. And I also uh, make the assumption that uh, the tickets at first don't look so promising. Even on the Discord server with the great matches play you can find there, like, they say, okay, the tickets are cool, but there's not big hype to play with them. Or maybe I'm wrong, but I don't see uh, this faction uh, often played. Even this has been defended in the tournament we held, so I don't know. Uh, in fact, this faction can be very interesting when you know correctly how to handle it. And I guess maybe uh, you have to get a lot of tactics in mind, maybe to master these, it, uh, these tickets. So I can understand uh, myself, I'm not really sure how to play with the tickets. But uh, that happens sometime, I will find some theory. The game I'm going to show you is the first game playing with the tickets. And uh, <laughs> this game is very violent. This is a long game, very long game, uh, for the f kind of games uh, we're featuring right now. And uh, this has been played uh, between uh, the 2,000 uh, elo guy on the tickies and uh, our friend which gets bullets every time, <laughs> I'm so sorry for him, which plays the humans. And I have to say, uh, this game is a pity in terms of strategy. So uh, some kind of uh, big brain uh, coming from the tickies sometime and some kind of, uh, I don't know, 200 elo rating from the humans. I'm very sorry that what uh, that would happen on the board, but uh, I'm just going to show you because the game is kind of interesting for the features uh, it shows. So let's go over it. So we have pawn to d4, uh, e6, pawn to e4, knight to c6, uh, mohai to c3, queen to h4 already on the board. I have no idea what queen to h4 does. Maybe I don't know. It was saying, oh, I'm attacking this spot and I'm attacking this spot. Maybe you want to put this bishop here on c5, but I don't see the point. So yeah, that's not a good move. So this is immediately defended by Moi to a3. And like, is like we have, con I don't know, classical theory of chess. I say, okay, with this bishop, I'm going to capture this Moi, and then I will have access to this pawn. Maybe this is the way uh, you do human stuff. The, the only problem is that this Moi went to be a king, so you can just capture. And then uh, there would be recaptured. Then you get a tempo. I don't know, you go here. I don't know what my opponent thought, because if this would have to disappear uh, at some point, uh, then, okay, this is still defended by this Moai, because this is a blowing Moai, so this is a king, so I don't know. So anyways, um, this is completely ignored with totem to f4, and I have to say this is a pretty good move, because uh, he would attack uh, c7 at some point. And now uh, we have bishop capture c3, and I say, aha, at least I would just cut your structure, and then you have to recapture with the pawn. I just forgot that there is actually a shrine that can capture itself and just it turns it to a, a, a shimp. So we have a bishop against a, a mohai for this kind of setup. So this is already chaotic, I'm very sorry. So we have knight to c6 uh, completely letting this pawn be captured. And at some point I can understand uh, why uh, he wouldn't capture because after that uh, you would uh, likely capture on e4 and after mohai captures then the queen captures and it becomes a, a big threat. And then you can uh, grab this pawn on d4. So this is not a bad move. So we have a pawn to g3, kicking the queen. And actually, uh, this can be reliable by the fact that uh, because you play the knight, you don't have any uh, escape square for the queen outside of this thing. And uh, there's already a lot of stuff here. So you have to be very careful. So pawn to g3. And now, uh, where do you put the queen? Uh, you can put it here, of course, because this is occupied. Uh, here, uh, you can put this here, you can put this here, you can put this here. So at least you have only this square left. So, uh, Q4. 
queen to h5 is pretty false. But at least you can slide your queen at some point. Uh, the only problem is that this square is controlled, 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 this square is controlled. So for now, this is not the best setup here. Maybe you have this square, uh, which is uh, only available. Maybe at some point you have to play h6 and try to hide your queen uh, in the most uh, stupid way possible. But uh, you have to survive. Uh, totem to e2 is played uh, with the aim maybe to get a discovery, but now uh, this square is available. So maybe at some point uh, he would be likely to push uh, h4. I know I trap, try to trap the queen in some way, I don't know. And here this is completely ignored because uh, pawn to d6 is played. Uh, and here I might say that at some point he would say, okay, I want to defend the c7 pawn to be sure that I wouldn't get any attack. And this can be understandable. Also, he maybe wants to push e5 and get some kind of trade and maybe castle, slide a rook there and try to control here. But uh, there's um, chimp to e3 which is played. And at some point you might say, okay, I don't really get the plan of this, but uh, this comes uh, with some very nasty idea in mind. And uh, you have to rely on the fact that your opponent is not that intelligent, I would say, and just fall for it. And this is exactly what happened because we have castle king side, castle queen side here, a pawn to e5, captures, captures, and here, rage to d2. Like, this thing is hanging. But here the 2000 uh, elo player said, okay, rage, uh, playing the joy to e2 and putting into a rage is a very beautiful move. And I say, what's the point of this? Because you just lose a totem with tempo. And I say, ah, maybe this is just capturing here. No, because then you're going to get that. And now uh, this almost forced the queen trade, you have to put that uh, somewhere else. And then you can have some pressure with the rook here on d8, trying to target that. So, no, this is not the idea. Pawn to f4 is played. And now I say, okay, uh, I'm very fine now. And I can play a bishop to d7. And uh, even if you might say, okay, you can just put this thing here. Okay, you put this thing here. And then what? The queen is gonna go on h6. L let me show you the line. If this queen to h6, and uh, how do you thread the queen? Like, you want to try that? No. There are too much pressure over here. And even if you, uh, excuse me, even if you try to slide this and try to get here, that would take too much time, and at some point the queen would have the time to escape, because now, this square on a5 is 3. So you might say, okay, everything's fine. But now, comes the real idea. f5. And suddenly, something happened on the board. So, you can just pause a little the video to see if you can understand what's the matter of the position now. Okay, I guess the first point you get is that that blocks the bishop. Okay, true, Th this is true, and you can't get here. But especially you don't have access to this square anymore. And this changed a lot of things, because now this queen also is blocked. What are your es the escape square of the queen? You can go here, you can go here, you can go here. So if there's something that controls these squares at some point, you're dead. And actually, this is the plan, is to go here. Because if you put now the range, uh, I thought, let, let me get the move before. Before, this square wasn't available. But now, because of this move, this becomes available. And this range controls that. So the queen would be dead. And you have no way. And even if you try to, okay, uh, block with the knight, uh, then uh, there's just gonna be some, I don't know, a capture here, you win a piece, and the queen is, is not safe yet. This is not that easy. So here, uh, this is why in this position, um, the humans are completely panicked and decided to go for bishop captures f5. And say, okay, uh, at least I'll, I'll be free and my queen uh, will be okay, I'll sacrifice the bishop and the queen would be able to recapture and then just escape. No, not even close. Because Mohai to g3 is played. And now it targets the queen and the bishop at the same time. So now you have to do something, and you don't have a lot of squares. So here in the game, a queen to h6 is played, and then uh, the rage comes to h4. And now this is a complete disaster. Because, okay, you can try to block with the knight, of course, uh, but uh, th this is not that sufficient. You're going to take some kind of rage. So le let me see. For example, if you decide to, do, to block with the knight, at least you're pretty safe. 
but you're going to lose too much material at some point because uh, maybe you can take here and then uh, the bishop can't move else the queen is going to be captured so maybe at some point you have to defend this way but you're going to take the bishop that comes with tempo and the queen again is uh, is threatened so maybe you have to put the queen here but after this will slide there and now the queen is completely trapped because this is controlled here, this is con this controlled that but uh, maybe there is some better line but from what I see uh, this is very hard for the queen to survive this so this is why in the game instead of this uh, bishop to g6 is played and it's like okay I'm accepting my fate uh, I, I will lose uh, my queen but maybe I'll be able to face something we have rage captures pawn captures and here uh, what's the material here uh, may, normally you have the same amount of pawns but uh, you're done one queen for one rook uh, and uh, one knight uh, I would say one bishop because here uh, there is one more knight but uh, this is a bishop that you sacrifice here with the totem so you may say okay there can be some composition there are some open files here uh, but here uh, you don't have time to do anything because immediately chim to f4 is played and now it attacks the knight it attacks this pawn and he wants to go for the king and now uh, you can't play a knight to, to g4 because this is going to be captured there so you have to defend this spot and this is very important that this has to hang so we have king to g7 trying to defend the stuff but the problem is that totem to e3 is played and now a new threat chink takes and with this take uh, you, you have to put the king here and remember that the shim can just slide here and take this knight on f6 so very hard you have to defend again so we have knight to g8 defending this spot and trying to get secure and here you might think that okay you you might be okay not even close because pawn to f3 is played and now pawn to f3 is a big threat because you threat to throw this pawn on f6 with check and this would come with something horrible for your opponent and here at some point uh, you might have to play uh, something like uh, f6 and even uh, this looks very terrifying for your opponent okay at least you're still in the game maybe something like this is going to be played and you uh, maybe have way to slide a rook here uh, when the bishop is threatened you go here uh, maybe this will come on the board and this uh, looks very scary but you still have a knight and uh, if you put for example the bishop further on or you just capture for example on a2 then you have a rook you are a knight you have your king and even this comes on the board with check you can try to escape in some uh, excuse me in some way and this is not completely over but even uh, you might say that you're losing but here uh, black didn't just see this move and played uh, knight to b4 uh, with the aim to go here that's not a very strong move so uh, like we have pawn to f6 on the board and this is in this position uh, that actually uh, black resigned because what are you gonna do like there's nothing you can do if you decide to take with this knight then this is going to go here you have check you have to go here you will have check so you will have to go here and then uh, uh, everything is gonna come and then for example this and now uh, this is checkmate and you can't do anything so here uh, let me show if you capture with the knight for example to show the one line you have to go here because you can't go here uh, this shame to control this square then you're going to get capture here and now uh, what happens you have to prevent this move from happening okay maybe you will go here to try to uh, this square but uh, this happens on the board and you have uh, you don't have even a way of defending that so very complicated uh, even this doesn't work uh, you might say uh, maybe defending just before like you, after this captures maybe you want to put the rook here and say okay I might have escape square no because still uh, this still happens on the board and this ship control this square so that doesn't work so this is very hard so uh, in this position uh, yeah it would resign other thing is that you might say okay uh, against this I would play the king here the only problem is that you just have to play chim to e5 and now you threat to jump over the pawn and checkmate the black king so here you have only one solution is to take with the knight but it comes check go here and you capture the pawn and then uh, again this is unstoppable like you can try to delay with knight to a2 knight to c3 
But here you don't have any move, you just have to capture and uh, bye bye this is checkmate. So uh, this is not the best game I, I ever saw, I have to be honest. Because there were uh, some kind of blunders going from the black perspective. Like you see that this opening doesn't make any sense. But at least I really like the way uh, white put energy into uh, trapping the queen. You see with in sacrificing a totem and with this f5 move which is very powerful in fact. With the wall combination. So maybe this has to be analyzed uh, further to find some other moves. But at the point I've analyzed it, uh, your queen was lost anyway. So that's the end of this game. I hope you like it. We're going to see each other next time for another game uh, of matches, which would be slightly more interesting because in some way our 2000 LO guy would be challenged. You will see. So see you then. Bye.